Well, hey, so as many of you know, uh, about a year and a half ago, two years ago, probably two years ago now, uh, at the peak of my career and doing all the fun, sexy things and being the go-to guy and whatever your career is, doesn't matter what the career is, but many of you are there. And maybe you feel like you're a cog that keeps the wheel in motion. Um, well, about two years ago, I left work one day with an unrelated issue. I broke some ribs at work. And I went to the doctor with that. And uh, little did I know that was my last day uh, I would ever actively work in my field as a detective. Uh, the doctor told me I needed to go home and that I was diagnosed with uh, PTSD and I'm like PTSD is for quitters. It's an excuse. It's a crutch and uh, there's no way that I'm suffering from this. And it took me uh, a long period of time, four or five months to really wrap my mind around the idea that a job, mine, law enforcement, yours, whatever it is, can injure us. And it can create stress. And it doesn't matter what my stress was versus your stress. This is not comparative. My mess is different than your mess. But at the end of the day, it's still a mess for both of us. And I finally accepted that PTSD diagnosis after a series of events took place and after I was hospitalized with it, uh, with the stress level. And then I found a therapist that is amazing. And she wa walked me through that healing process. And I'm ashamed to say that one day, a long time ago, I would laugh at people to claim PTSD. Uh, and I, I thought it was just a cry for attention. And now... It's my world, right? My whole point in this is through that healing process, you feel pretty good and you feel like maybe you're on top of the game. And then something can happen to put you right back and maybe even worse than you were before. And that's happened to me recently. And you have these uh, uh, peaks and valleys. And sometimes you feel like you're on the peak and other times you feel yourselves in the depth of the valley. And I'm coming out of that valley right now. And this isn't a message to say, hey, you know, oh, Aaron, you're going to be great and blah, blah, blah. I don't want any of that. What my point is, is that you don't have to be there alone. My philosophy, even as of a month ago, was, of course, I'm drowning. I'm, you know, I'm in the water. I'm drowning. And I'm just going to handle this on my own. And I'm going to get out of the water. I dry myself off. And I'll, I can deal with this not the case. Things just got worse. And uh, ultimately, I went back to therapy. And the cool thing about a therapist is you don't even have to know what you're going to talk about when you get there. A good therapist will help you identify what the issue is and how to work through that issue. If you find yourself in a valley, if you find yourself drowning, if you find yourself in a world where your walls are caving in, you're starting to see changes in yourself, your behavior at home might not be what it used to be. Maybe you don't even recognize yourself anymore. Think back to 20 years ago when you started this career. Are you the same person today as you were then? The answer is probably no. But know that that person that you were is still inside. And it's just unwinding the cobweb of lies and armor that we put on ourselves to make ourselves into the person that we want the public and the world to see. It's the fake mask we put on. It's the smiles all day long and then we come home and are a pain in the ass with our family and we have no patience and a short fuse. If you find yourself in those positions, it's not too late to get help. I don't care how tough you are, 
I don't care what your roles and responsibility of the world are. It's not too late to reach out for help and put yourself onto a path of healing. You can still do your job. You can still be the badass that you are. But you can do it with some assistance alongside you. I don't know if any of this made sense. But I'm struggling. And I know some of my peers are struggling. And I know some of my friends are struggling. And I know some of you that don't even know me are struggling. And you feel like you can't do it alone. Or maybe you don't want to be perceived as weak for reaching out for help. Maybe it's time to reach out for help. If any of this makes sense and you want to reach out to me, I'm happy to listen. Uh, I'm not a counselor, I'm not a pastor, I'm not a preacher, I'm not your father, I'm not your mother. But I am happy to listen to whatever it is that you have to say. Help maybe guide you in what worked for me um, and help point you in the right direction before something tragic happens. A loss of life, loss of family divorce, whatever it may be. Anyway, don't know if it helped or not, but there you go. If you need anything, reach out. Reach out to me. Reach out to a trusted friend. I don't care if you're a stranger. Hit me up.